What's up everybody, welcome back. And today we don't have really a special upload, not gonna be doing anything super crazy cool. Uh, just kinda had the day off work and it's just, you know, a nice day. It's the day before my birthday and I got a couple new things, well new camera gear things I wanna try out. So I finally got a suction cup mount for my GoPro. So what we're gonna do is, instead of me having to hold my phone or hold my GoPro while I'm driving, now I can just have it suction cup to the windshield and not have to worry about holding anything. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try that out here shortly. I'm gonna switch over to that camera view and we're going to go up to either advanced or AutoZone, one of the two. I'm gonna pick up some fuel injector cleaner to throw in the old gator here. That way, you know, we can keep it running good, keep the engine in tip top shape because I just changed the oil about a week ago. And that's pretty much going to be it. So without any further uh, ado, switching to GoPro mount in three, two, one. And just like that, folks, we are in the car with the GoPro mounted up. And I got to tell you, it feels great to not have to hold something in my hand while I'm driving. Um, it's even really cool because I can, uh, I can see you guys. Well, I can see myself really well on my phone. So, it's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like you seeing me, seeing you seeing me. Crazy. But, that's going to come in handy. So, let's get, the, uh, let's get the car fired up. Oh yeah, that sounds really nice. That sounds really, really nice. And yeah, I'll need gas. So, let's get on the road. Back out of my little garage here, my nice little single car. Shut that bad boy because I don't trust people. I'm sure y'all can get a peek of some of my apartments. I bet these folks love me with this exhaust. Vehicle temp is already at 105. I think we should do a little launch out of the apartments. I think we should. I don't think it's gonna hurt anybody. AC is on. It is a hot one today, boys. It says 89, but I checked the uh, heat index earlier and it said like 95. So, yeah, we're going to run with the air conditioning on today. But uh, anyway, to fill you guys in, the car now has 7,800 miles on it. I figure now is the time to start making sure that the fluids are properly, you know, used or the, the proper fluids are used to keep the engine in good shape. You know, fuel injector cleaner helps out. I know I'm sure people will say it does, people say it doesn't. Um, it puts my mind at ease. So that's why I use it. And I only use one brand. I only go with Lucas. They're a really good brand. Okay, cool, yeah, yeah. No blinker guy whatsoever. All right, awesome. I use Lucas, uh, great brand, not overly expensive. Uh, yeah, they are not the cheapest, but they're proven. They've been around forever and ever and ever, and people love them. So, I'm gonna use a little bit of that in my gas tank today. Uh, I did run some sea foam in it right before I changed the oil. I'm debating on if I should just rather get sea foam this time again, since I have newer oil in it, as opposed to the burned up old oil that was in it. So, you know what guys, comment down below and tell me what kind of fuel 
additives you, it is that you use, what kind of fuel additives that you like, what kind you don't like, which ones that you know work, which ones that are complete crap, let me know, let me know. And next time I may do a video with one of you guys' suggestions of fuel additive or oil additive or whatever. You know, if you've got a, a, any type of additive that works, let me know, I'm willing to try it. All right, folks, we are back in the car. We have grabbed our fuel injector cleaner, and I also bought, if I can get it out of here, some turtle wax spray for my car because it's starting to lose that new car leathery, that good smell, and I wanted something decent to put in here, so I picked this. But with that being said, we're just gonna go uh, throw the old fuel injector cleaner in the car. I'm gonna fill the tank up and probably head home and edit this video. All right, I know I said I was gonna end it off, but I can't do it without a little bit of spirited driving in this bad boy, so uh, we'll let this car turn right here. Well, there's a couple cars, so bear with me for a second. Got one coming this way. Oh, an old Explorer. Well, it's a sport track. I used to have an Explorer. Y'all remember that, though. If you're real old channel watchers, you know that I had my old Explorer. That thing was baller. Nah, really. Well, nah, I'm just kidding. Try to get some decent little footage for you guys today. I know it wasn't exactly a, an exciting upload, but hopefully, hopefully, you guys are interested enough to maybe uh, like, subscribe, uh, share these videos. Um, I'm trying to do these more often and maybe branch out a little bit more into things that I'm not normally comfortable with. Um, so, you know, with that being said, I would love it if you guys would give me some feedback, you know, and if you like what you saw, stick around. And, uh, you, uh, you'll see how my story unfolds, I guess. But, uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been a hot day. It's been a long day. Uh, I'm gonna go up in here, finish cleaning my house, and, uh, we'll see you folks. <laughs>